Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm sharing a quick and easy recipe for caramel pecan banana muffins. So let me show you what you're going to need, and I'll make sure to leave exact measurements in the description box. For the muffin portion, you are going to need flour, sugar, pecans, caramel baking bits, or you can use just the regular car caramels and just cut them up. You're going to need a ripe banana. Now my husband and I are not huge banana people, so I prefer a milder banana bread, but if you like banana flavor, you're gonna wanna use at least three. You're going to need some baking powder and salt, a couple of eggs, butter and buttermilk, for the crumble portion or streusel portion, you're going to need some brown sugar, vanilla, cinnamon, melted butter, and flour. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is start off by hand mixing our butter and sugar. And by the way, my butter is at room temperature and it's really soft. Now I'm going to add in my eggs and these are also at room temperature and my buttermilk, which again, is at room temperature. You wanna make sure when you're baking that your eggs, milk, butter, anything like that, um, you wanna make sure it's at room temperature. It just cooks better. And I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla. And I'm just gonna use my hand mixer now. I'm going to add in my banana and I did mash it up first. I'm gonna give that another mix. Now I'm just gonna add in my flour and my salt and baking soda. I believe when I was going over the ingredients, I may have said baking powder, but this is baking soda. And I'm just gonna give this another stir Okay, so I mixed my batter until it was just moistened. You don't want to overmix that batter. Kind of like the same with pancake mix. It's like you don't overmix it. Same thing with the muffin mix. So I'm just gonna gently fold in the caramel bits and those pecans. Now we're gonna set this aside while we work on that streusel topping. Okay, so I've got my bowl of flour. Now I'm just adding in that brown sugar. I'm just gonna break it up a little bit. And I'm gonna add in a generous amount of cinnamon and my butter. And I'm just gonna stir it all up. Okay, so I've got my streusel mixture all combined, and I know this is kind of a weird angle, but I wanted to show you all what I did to make tulip um, like muffin holders. Uh, so I used parchment paper, and then I sized it for the muffin tin, and then I just put a cup right on top, just like that, and just kind of smashed it down to get it to hold in place. So now I'm just gonna fill the muffin cups. I'll just do one on camera for you all. Put the muffin mixture right down in there and make sure that you leave enough space for that streusel topping. So I've got my muffin mixture in there and then now I'm just going to add on my streusel topping just like that. And I will go ahead and do the rest of those. All right, I've got my muffin tins all filled. In case you're not able to tell, I am using a jumbo muffin tin. So this recipe makes six jumbo muffins or 12 standard size muffins. I've also cut down some of that parchment paper a little bit so it doesn't burn in the oven. But I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees and I am going to bake these for about 40 minutes or until they're done. All right, so I just took the muffins out of the oven. I let them bake for exactly 40 minutes. I'm gonna let these cool completely and then I am going to cut one open so you all can see the inside. 
Okay, so the muffins cooled completely and I took one out, cut it open so you all could see what it looks like on the inside. The reason you don't see the other side is because Howard and I ate it. We have no self-control, it was so good. You can taste those pecans and you see that melted caramel. I will say I probably could have cooked it, five, baked it five minutes less. I baked it for 40 minutes, probably could have done 35 minutes. It's a little dry, but it's still moist. It's very good. I hope you all enjoyed this quick and easy recipe. I have an entire playlist of easy breakfast recipes. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.